A few red apples falling from the same tree They're all wondering why one skin is green Cause I can't put no coins in your cup Cause I'm still trying to work my way up And never meant to show you no love But this can't be about you, this can't be about you You gotta let me go, gotta let this bird flow Make it fast, not slow, it's the path I chose Feel it in my soul and I'm so thankful Oh, 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 oh You gotta let me go, gotta let this bird flow Make it fast, not slow, it's the path I chose Feel it in my soul and I'm so thankful We can eat, this just can't be about you This can't be about you You gotta let me go Gotta let the fur flow Make it past my slow it's Peace family, welcome to another episode of Underground Railroad Productions Man, I got the offspring with me Of some powerful people That have helped our community In terms of health And uh these brothers is continuing the legacy of their family. I want y'all, again, for those who may have never seen you before, introduce yourselves to the family and uh, tell, them, tell them about your websites. Wellness Salute Family, Supernova Psalm, OG Medicine Man, www.supermegagreens.com, S-U-P-A-M-G-A, greens.com. I'm the eldest son of Queen of Fua, uh, universal health and wellness practitioner, and I am continuing the work to build on the medicine frequency for our generation. Um, honored on the platform by Brother Rich and united in power, in medicine power, with my beloved brother, Blue Pill. Okay, Mama Pill's finest, other yes. part of the red pill. That's why I'm representing for my brother Red today. We didn't even organize yes, it like that. We just we just in tune like that, right? Look how that you know, happened. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I went all red today. Salute my father uh, in the spirit of Sean Go, and then bang! I look look at that. I, I channel my brother for my brother Blue. Look at that. I, I, I have a world full of twins. Look at that. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. <laughs> a world of twins. A world of twins. So. Yeah, yeah. We twin in the day. Twin in today. My brother. Yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? yes, and yes, yes. When we're not twinning, he's twinning with uh, my brother Ali. That's you know right. what I'm saying? His twin. Shout out to his family. Shout out to Queen of Fools. Shout out to everybody um, that has participated in the legacy building. Mm. You know, that shout out to brother, Mama Pill. Yeah, Mama is, Pill is, salute. Is a, is a forebearer of, and um, like the brother mentioned, you know, I am the, the progeny of Mama Pill who is a health practitioner as well, un who came under the tutelage of Dr. Sebi oh, in the early Dr. 80s, Sebi. and, you know, uh, who who did some amazing things and was a part of an amazing team yeah. who did some amazing things. Wow. Wow. So I'm one half of the Twin Pillars. Uh, the other brother that we may mention of, of course, is brother Red Pill and my other brother, KT the Arts Degree. KT, Red Pill. I have a pill. sister that rarely gets mentioned. She said she the Black Pill. The Black you Pill. Know, <laughs> the Kiba, she got a birthday coming up. Peace you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yes, indeed. Um, she's the Pisces Pill, yeah. Pisces Pill. So, yes, we, we, are, uh, we are the children of the movement, the health movement, you know what I'm saying? And we stand on the shoulder of giants. Come on. And... We are preparing ourselves right. to add on to a legacy that will extend into um, infinity. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And we'll be able to build a bridge upon which generations will come from time immemorial mm. and add on as well. Wow, because we can't have life without health. And that caveats... Right to this point, um, Blue Pill, about water. I wanted to have a discussion on the importance of hydration. Um, and, and, and I know, and, and then Pill definitely um, will take us into the dimensions of the water. Um, and and, uh, and, and uh, Brother Rich will keep us on our toes with his awesome objective quest thinking. He's, he's, a, he's a master of objective thinking and strategy, which we definitely want to honor him for being that for our community. We salute you, Brother Rich. Salute. Um, water. So... We're on a water planet, um, was considered a water planet. Um, human beings are 60 to 70% water, okay? And what that means is 
when you're in your most optimum health and wellness state, your body uh, is in a hydrated, empowering state. You ever hear the, the saying the doctors tell you to um, eat more fiber, eat, drink more fruits, and, eat more fruits and vegetables? It's because the fruits and vegetables can t are mainly water. Okay, and so they can they when when you're consuming a lot of um, high alkaline fruits and vegetables, you know they 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 convert to water in the body quicker and allow the colon to operate at its more, highest more level. Yes. and it feeds your cells. These are superfoods that keep you in a really wonderful tandem place as a water being. So, when someone's trying to control you outside of your natural state, the, with the, it's, it's called it's the introverse um, nutrition. Introverse nutrition focuses on what your what your um, what the opposite of your main percentage. So, if we're seventy percent to sixty percent water, that means uh, to get to control you, I'm going to focus on what makes up thirty or forty percent of you, the solid. If I fill you up with solids that are non-alkaline and do not convert to water in the body quick enough, it means you, your body has to put more water inside of those mainly carbohydrate diets that you know we have, um, starch diets, um, in order to break that down in your body. Your body has to put water back into the, the um, to the digest that. Then now, if that's the most for right of our society based on nutrition, that means we're out of our natural optimum state. Right. We're functioning as alien unto ourselves. As an analogy, think of a washing machine. You got a full load, mm. but the water ain't coming in. The shit is just sludging. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The water is not present to break down the filth and spread the detergent to have an optimum wash. Yes. See? Okay. That's that's yes. that's 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 the totality. Just like um Blue Illustrated. So um so when so basically um and we can go into the dimensions um um blue uh, uh how that shows up in different levels of nutrition. But I just want to give people a basic inspiration by saying hydrate more. Um now listen, you uh you know um uh, we both were, were raised in, in a holistic environment from very young. Um, I was born and raised a vegan, you know, from my mom's womb up until uh, 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 maintaining it in my own life and having my children. But I would say beyond me, I'm never dogmatic with my natural lifestyle for people because there's some brothers and sisters who operate outside of the um, the holistic vegan stratum, but still want to take information that we have to better themselves. So I'm not, I'm not, um, it would be great if you join us fully, but I'm not dogmatic with that. I want to just inspire you you right so with that being said and knowing that um we are mainly water beings um i would encourage you all to um commit throughout the day from a.m to p.m that means the first thing you do when you when your body after we talked about last video about centering yourself for the day with proper mental intention um your body is mainly water so water is intelligence okay um and the movie The Secret, I mean, people are familiar with that movie. And there was a segment in the movie The Secret, they talked about the intelligence of water, you know, and water reacts to negative and positive right. vibration and thoughts, right? So that's the same thing with your human body, especially if it's mainly water, right? Facts. And so when you wake up into the day, uh, the first thing you want to do is have anywhere between 8 ounces to 32 ounces of water, just to kind of, you know, say, give thanks. It's almost like a libation unto yourself. Right. You know, after long nights of rest, or six hours, or eight hours, or even shorter, you want to just really bless and, and um, libate your organs, your internal organs, with a wonderful cascading of just some water, right? You want to do that throughout the day. So every two to three hours throughout the day, just repeat that, eight to 32 ounces. If you do that consistently between a.m. to, let's say, before bedtime, you, you're creating a very um, um, uh, oxygenated full day that should amount right. to about a gallon of water. That's yes. what every human being, whether they're short or tall, blood type, it doesn't really matter what you're eating meat, you're not eating meat. You know, to really optim, um, operate in an optimum place, you want to make sure you're hydrated. Now, again, when you, when you hear the word gallon of water in your mind, you actually see a actual physical gallon. And because some of you have don't even hydrate at all, you, you're just overwhelmed with the concept. But this is why I'm saying you're not necessarily drinking it all at one time. You're spreading it throughout the day. When you're more active and moving throughout the day, your body needs it. A lot of times we think that we're hungry and our body's just dehydrated. And so what happens is we, we've been so far away from our natural state that we put solid in place of just drinking liquid water. You know, you got to eat. 
Make sure you eat right. six to eight times a day. Right. But and they don't specify the whole gallon of water that you're supposed to be. Come on. Even in the fitness world. Right, right, right. Talk about it, brother. You know what I mean? They were stressing me. Brother, in order to get gains, you got to make sure that you get these micro meals in all times a day. But they never specified, you know, also drink X amount of water. Right. And they don't specify, don't drink your water with your meal. Right. Okay. So I would say that's a very good point. Most people want to eat and drink. That is a disnormal. You're actually putting a your body at a, um, a negative space to proper digest your food properly. So the body's trying to, remember, your body's mainly water, right? So every time it's trying to distinguish between a solid converting back into a liquid or just actually... Um, uh, taking the liquid and actually exchanging the liquid back into the body, right? So again, um, fruits and vegetables are automatic because they convert to liquid, so your body's already back into that rhythm and flow. When you come to carbohydrates and it comes to starches and it comes to even meats, your body has to pull the water from, if you don't have it already available, what is going to happen is if your body's in a state of dehydration, it's going to pull from your, your kidneys, it's going to pull from your liver, it's going to pull from um, parts of your descending and ascending colon, um, your skin, it's going to put from all areas just to just to hi, just to hydrate what it has to actually with that heavy meal, that meat or the starch, just so it can break down back into water and be used properly in your body. So, th so even for those who don't, who are really just f universes in their consciousness from a vegan or alkaline lifestyle, raw food lifestyle, whatever your your, your discipline is. Um, very much in tune with getting into the the water science is very it's just intelligent to do so because it allows you to really be at a uh, at a forefront of owning your health and wellness and um and not being the opposite end. So when your body is dehydrated, again, you're there's no um not enough moisture in inside in, in, inside of your um, areas of your body. You know your cells and in, in, yes. in, in your in your internal organs. internal organs. And so now your body's in a state of constant stress. And it's stressing Crisis. you on so many different levels, okay? So this is how you could do a self-test, um, Brother um, Rich and Brother Blue Pill, and for those out there. If you notice when you first wake up in the morning, right? This, I'll do it every time. If I notice that I've been lacking sleep and my skin looks a little dry, um, and, and, I, uh, and I say, okay, my skin looks a little dry. This is before, you know, lotion and, and baths and stuff. Again, I drink water. Within the first... 10 to 30 minutes of you drinking the water, you, can, you will start to see the luster appear. And the more water you drink, the more the luster will appear in your face. Why? Because we are water beings. Drink water. Another right. test you can do is this. This is how you know universally whether you're in an alkaline lifestyle or you're not. Because even if you're a vegan vegetarian, you can, you can still uh, be subjected to this. Right? Facts. You, when you urinate, if your urination is every different hue of yellow... Or brown, because, because when it goes from clear, clear is actually letting your body know that your kidneys are clean, your liver's clean, and everything's flowing in optimum state. That's how you can know if you're in a state of ultimate health and wellness, okay? If you're having too much sweets in your diet, if you need to kind of have more, um, more bitters, you can tell by the color of your, your urine. If it starts to go from clear to, um, you know, start to go into the yellow zone, you know that, you know, your body's still, you're pretty much balanced, but you still may need to just drink more water, right? When you start to get it, most people live inside of the yellow worm. They're so used to having yellow pee that some people even so deep in toxicities, uh, especially with the sh processed sugars, right, that they start having brown piss, Okay, that lets you know the state that your your um your that your brown water that that your state of of um this oh this harmony is so far out that you're in a your body's in a state of emergency. Okay, and 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 your your body's talking to you through your urine, and this is something that you can um you don't have to say panic, but what I would say in a day in one day's time from a.m. to p.m. If you hydrate and you begin to now get the water back into your daily flow between 8 to 32 ounces at least every two hours, right, you will start to, every time you urinate, you can actually notice and engage, monitor, right. engage if a transformation is happening. So let me ask you this, brother. Yes. In the morning, the 8 to 32 ounces, one, what kind of water should we be drinking? And two, is it inclusive of lime, lemon, right. or anything of that particular nature? to cut through the um, the perceived acidity that might be building up in the nighttime when your body's going through its, rep its repairing process? Right. 
Okay, so yes, that's a great question. Um, for those that have afforded the, the Kagan machines, you know, the, the, you know, the, into electrical water, you can, I would say, I, I'm not against that. You know, you can definitely um, do that. You want to have water with the high, high pH. Um, also, some people are into distilled water, and some people are, are, are into cutting the water with a half a lemon, half a lime, and one to three capfuls of apple cider vinegar, which is really good to have that because um, the lemon and lime is automatically a helping to align the, um, the colon, and it's finding any mucus buildup in the nasal passage. And then the apple cider vinegar is helping to cut any plaque buildup on the arteries. So um, again, I'm not um, against incorporating to fortify your water, but if you any way you can get the water inside, get the water inside. But I, but I want to get us in the habit of just drinking the water, right? So oh, right. So I would say if you can diverse throughout the day, you may diversify it. So say if you start your day um, blue and, and you do that with the lime and um, a couple of shots of the apple cider, perfect um, um, way to set it off. And maybe two hours later, just a simple glass of you know water, just to kind of get you you into yeah, yeah, drinking yeah. more of that right. and changing the concept that it has to have flavor. I think we're so into flavors. Um, one of the things that um, Hitler did um, uh, when 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 he was in power was was to um, have his sciences mastermind food flavoring because if they would to infiltrate the foods, then they biochemically can change the structure of of, of the said enemy or host that they were trying to take over so um it, so because we're into a culture is centered around the food right all right, right. please continue right so flavoring the liquid and, and, and having flavored colored multicolored um liquid um was always a master plan um objective of those that are trying to take your body and over to a state from an um a, a organic state to an inorganic state okay and again it, most of us in this society uh, like red talked about um blue talked about earlier about how you know just the cell phone the towers and stuff we're in an in, we're in living in a microwave and this is why it's very important because we're living in a microwave um, to do your daily libation with having your water daily, you know, to reset yourself. And like I said, a gallon may seem like a lot, but it's actually, if you have it daily, you, you see it in your urine, you see it in clarity of your skin. There's so many unseen um, electrodes that are fighting to take over your physical self or to impact that in a negative way. Like Blue talked about, we lived in the microwave. So it's very important that we get into the ritual of daily water intake. And again, I'm, I'm a brother pill pulled up a great point about fortifying the water with the lime and the lemon and also adding uh, you know a few drops of the um the apple cider vinegar uh, uh, i definitely um you i know. was about to say that uh when i wake up i got super mega greens in my water well have you had your right. mega greens today oh, brother i always have my mega greens okay. so that's so that, that was the next thing so <laughs> now now the ritual for me is um again i have um the first thing upon my after my meditation mm -hmm. i have eight to 32 ounces of water as i you know that's my first meal as i'm now getting ready to dress and so forth now my second round would be to one to three um, um, tablespoons of the greens to fortify the water. Now I guess it gets into fortification of the water. Fortification of the water is again we talked about the lemon, the lime, the apple cider. Okay. Um, again, I balanced out throughout the day of mixing the greens and having the water by itself and also doing additional fortification. Some people do the uh, liquid aloe as a fortification, yes. adding to the water, which is really good for the colon. Um, death begins in the colon. When you have, when you, when you have a clear colon, you have a, a troll-free life. Okay, you may have a troll living inside the lower abdominal area. <laughs> okay, because it, every human being carries anywhere between 20 to 30 20, 30, 20, 25 to 35 impacted waste that has not been properly digested. Pounds of, right, pounds right. of Right, so that may be your troll. That may be the person inside you uh, talking to your subconscious mind to you not to be in your most powerful self. Or, you know, Facts. the joining the cacophony of conversations that are unproductive to the, to the magnitude of you living a powerful, productive, and prosperous life. That's the word I was looking <laughs> for. He pulled it out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta use that last so, segment, the cacophony. Yes, yes, brother. Okay. So, yeah. so I just I just want to uh, use this, this segment just to really just inspire you, brothers and sisters. Please Please hydrate. Again, it's it's not as it's, it's difficult um, to do a, a to heal thyself and do a, a self assessment. Look into the mirror if you want to clear up the bags under your eyes. Hydrate. Um, make sure that you um, infuse. You know the lime, the lemon, the super mega greens. Um, get, the sea moss is not only good for the brothers in the process; it's also good for our sisters too. Thanks. Okay, so you want to stack that throughout the day. Um, and, and, and really begin to have a, 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 a ritual for your liquid meals. It's very important. 
Um, I'm not against yeah. the solid living. That's a whole other bill that we can have um, as we continue our wellness series. But I just really wanted to, um, a lot of brothers and sisters are walking around here um, out, out of their harmonious selves as water beings on a water planet. And for us to be more in tune with the planet we're in, or even to have the compassion for each other, we have to be in our natural states to even exercise compassion. And the best thing we can be doing daily with that is the water ritual. Facts. Um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you, because I suffered from it when I was younger, I didn't like the taste of water. Right. So I became dehydrated yeah. because I was just like, yo, you know, I'm not really feeling it. And the water that I did like was tap water. And it says like, yo, the tap water ain't good for you. I'm like, it has a certain type of taste, though. That you know makes it a little bit more so engaging they, and inciting. So, so there, there, there are levels of the even the tap. Actually, um, New York City, at uh, all so ironically, yes. New York City tap water is probably the best tap water, uh, more than the bottled Poland spring water. You know, what I'm saying, and you know, so that that's a whole other build on that thing. But I would say this. Most times, um, when you talk about water, even bitters, because some people, are, you know, even when you, talk, you introduce them to different herbs and the benefits of the herbs, what I tell people to focus on, as far as when you talk to the last video about visualization, creative visualization, use the water as a metaphor for the result that you're trying to attain, right? So, example, you take in the 8 to 32 ounces, the water is alive. Before you even ingest it, Put the thought, the creative thought intent with this waters for. So today I am going to have a wonderful, prosperous day. I'm going to allow my hustle, my grind to be a reflection of my mind. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to go out here and get it. And this, so now the water becomes a libation, kind of like we do to our ancestors. We do libation to the elders. You know, you, again, you are the, you are the living continu continuum of your elders and your ancestors. So it's the same way that we do all these, these libation porn rituals outside of ourselves. We have to also pour it within. So how you change the taste, you put the intention in the ritual thereof. So the result your body's going to feel is actually creates a taste that you start to crave because you're programming yourself that the right. results and the rewards of having a hydrated body, having a wellness body, having being able to fight fatigue and be able to fight being um, not in your powerful organic state, that's the goal you're trying to attain. Then you'll start to just do it because you know the goal is greater than the taste. Right. Exactly. And so, again, if we're so controlled by the by the by the frequencies of taste, taste right. our, our, our perceived enemies will always be able to gravitate us out of our God selves. Manipulate us. Yes, because, because they master palate, the flavors. Yeah, our palate is already programmed. Programs, right. Um, I had this issue uh, until I discovered, you know, uh, I don't want to say a new kind of water, but, a, you know, the water that was introduced to me. You know what I'm saying? In a different format, which was initially it was the Kanjin water. Kanjin water yeah, and yeah. then the taste, I, the taste yeah, difference. there yeah. was a difference. Yeah. And then I grew into uh, structured water, pyramid water. Shout out to brother Hank Rising son. Hey, hey, yes. And then I started um, making my own water. Nice. I started including minerals, um, gold. You know what I'm saying? Wow, nice. And then I would do silver, then I would do zinc, then you, I would do copper. Can you tell us some of the benefits of, uh, of a gold, silver, and copper in zinc water? And silver yes. Water. Uh, gold first. Um, the mineral gold is for DNA, DNA repair. So our DNA uh, is being interrupted, interrupted and fractured daily by the uh, devices that we have around us, the radiation, the microwave that we live in. You know what I'm saying? It's damaging our DNA. Um, gold repairs it. Gold threads it and tweeds it. You know what I'm saying? Gold also deals with cell regeneration. Right. Gold also uh, activates pineal activity. So you would experience colorful dreaming, lucid dreaming, and things of that nature. Gold gives you a considerable amount of energy. Case in point, um, my stepfather had some of this gold water, and he was able to stay up for like 14 hours writing. Wow. He just couldn't stop. He just had an influx of energy, and it does that, oh. uh, especially dealing with the alkaline aspect of it. As it, it was arranged in, in the Kanger water, it was arranged in microclusters, so mm. it's permeating the cell membrane, and the payload or the delivery is the mineral, so it's getting it directly to the cell. And, you know, these things were working wonders. But then there, there became a lot of controversy in the community about uh, the machine water, the Kanger water, and... Sabi initially um, used to tell me about it, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't 
pro. So uh, what do you uh, recommend? He he always said the best available water is flowing water. Okay. So he said if you can't get to a stream, you know what I'm saying. My brothers and sisters in a concrete jungle. What what, what, what from he, from Sabi's teaching? What, he, what do you recommend? He wanted us to get spring water. Okay. So spring water. So and, and see, you know see how we were able to go to yeah. the different realms. So we're not even hating. So you got people that are into the Kagan. Right. You got people into tap spring. My let, thing let is. Let me tell you something, yeah. brother. I've experienced some of the best water on the planet. Mm. When I went to California, Northern California, when I was in the mountains and the water was coming directly off of those mountains, collecting all of the minerals, silica being one of the main minerals. Silica is great you know for the skin. It's great and for lithium the for the brain as well. Lithium for the brain. Like, I call this water angel tears because when I was drinking it, it was expanding inside of my chest and I only needed a little bit and I was full. So I felt and I've experienced what living water feels and tastes like as opposed to everything else that we've had. And I'm a water connoisseur. I shut down my production after that. And I was like, look, if I can't mimic this to share this with people, I don't want to share, you know what I'm saying, the second or the third or the fourth best thing. I have friends of mine that have aquifers and they have water companies as well. You know, there's a lot of different brands and pedigrees and qualities of water out here. Um, they do say that New York City tap is the best, but they also say that you can find traces of 92 different prescription drugs in it. Oh, wow. Because people are taking, you know what I'm saying, these, uh, these prescription drugs, their excrement is going and flushing into the ocean, and then that water is being recycled back into the tap. So there's always still going to be traces. There's cocaine that they're finding in the water as well. Um, so water is a very tricky issue because I personally don't want to send somebody to get Polar Spring. I've done the test. Right. I know what Polar Spring got in it. So we got to be careful to say spring water. But what kind of spring water? Arrowhead, maybe. You know. Um, also, there 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 are other brands. So there are brands, right? Also, you know um, I mean? shout out to Mother June Pook Room. She actually has y'all can reach. I forgot her site, but you can reach out to her. She actually has these tinctures that you can add to any bottles water. Mm -hmm. And it it for it, it she, something she you know uh, you know she deals with the brain and stuff right yes. so she was saying this th these these um, holistic tinctures once you add it to the water it converts it it fully alchemizes the water it takes all the heavy metals out of it and it converts it and you can drink it so shout out to Mother June Pukram um, she's right. out of um, uh, Atlanta Georgia make sure you reach out to her to, to this, you know to find out um, how you can um, incorporate some of those things to convert that too so right. so it, it you know. It perplexes me, the fact that as a people, you know, we are so headstrong with research. Right. And we love to say that we know a thing, uh, repeat the things that we know. Right. But practicing those things, we don't put the incentive on that. So this constant reminder that our people have that we're African right. and our ancestors. And it's a, African people always look to be towards water, river. In particular, you know what I'm saying? But we could look at our family and say, all right, well, we got our family in Far Rockaway. And we got our family in Coney Island. And we got our family in the Shah. And we got our family in a lot of places. And the majority of the family that's near the water are the places where shit is off the hook the most. Mm. Or it's very bleak and gloom like Norfolk and things of that nature. Mm. So there's a spirit associated with water as well. There are ancestors in water as well. And there's detriment if you do not know how to properly take care of those ancestral forces mm. that are coming off of that water because the areas and the pockets that are near water mm. are the strongest of where our people are at. The potential is greatest there. So the failure to utilize that potential results in the most tragic, you know, tragic outlook or the cr tragic look of our people because we're not properly taking these elements and doing what it is that we need to do with it. Right. So where water is, the negative ions are the highest. Mm. In order for you to do the, the magic that you do, you need the presence of negative ions. Mm. So the negative ions are there. Why? Okay. Hmm? Why do you need the presence of negative ions? Because negative ions yeah. attract positive ions. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you do what it is that you do. Positive ions, you know what I'm saying? That That's what's attracting the dust in these 90 degree corner rooms and things of that nature. That deals with stagnation. That's like still water. Mm. You feel me? As opposed to moving and flowing water 
the negative ions is what you need. So all of these coastal communities, all of these New Orleans, you know, all of these places, Mississippi, all these places where they're off the hook, then we will have to look at what the spiritual component is taking place. Are they paying homage to the ancestors of those of that water, the spirit of that water? Mm. Just like you said about changing the water every day when you come into the house. You know what I'm saying? Are the sisters going down to doing their Yim Yimiya ceremonies? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Are the brothers uh, 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 actively involved in the purity and the dis dispensation of the water through the community? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did Flint get the way that Flint got? Mm -hmm. You feel me? And what's being done in replace of that? You know, all of the places that I go that have the best water, we ain't nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. We don't live in those communities. You know who live in those communities. You know what I'm saying? But it's still open. Like, a lot of these communities, they have open taps where the water's coming from the mountains and there's a well set up. And then you'll see cars just lined up getting five-gallon drums of water. You know what I'm saying? Constantly, constantly. Like, this is all around. You know, they don't deal with lack. I feel when it comes to water with us, we deal with lack for some reason. We don't even understand this whole concept that, you know... There's a lot of water on this planet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's constantly recycling itself. You know? And there's so much mysteries to water. You know what I'm saying? We have a partner of ours, our brother named Abiku out of Baltimore. Mm. The brother can reinstall your engine where you can have a water fuel engine. Mm. You can drive your car off of water. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing that you can't do with water. And like I said, water is not terrestrial to this planet. So the fact that your body, you are composed of 70% water and your brain 90%, you by proxy are extraterrestrial. And what you can do is unlimited because water is unlimited. So if you are what you are primarily composed of, if we had you listed on an ingredient chart and the most thing that you are is water, the knowledge of water, of course, they don't want you to get that. And you're born with the water in your body, and that water recycles, but we're not replacing that water. So right. if you took a look at the water in the bodies of the people, it would look like Flint, and it would look like Fukushima. Because we're eating radiated food. We're exposed to radiation. We're on these cell phones. Dehydrated. If, if you're dehydrated, if you looked at the inside of the melanated woman, her body would look like Fukushima water. You know what I'm saying? And as within, so without. So what is being projected into the outer world, into this ionosphere, into these bands of frequency that connect to, you know what I'm saying, other galaxies and other solar systems? Mm. It's a very stagnant energy by proxy of the fact that we're not paying no attention to the water. Mm. And we are the ones with all of the water narratives. All of our ancient societies deal with these water narratives. You know what I'm saying? We spoke specifically about water, but we're not into water. We ain't got no songs about them. Mm. There's no emphasis, you know. Shout out to Puff, he got aqua hydrate. Mm. But when the, when, 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 when the culture, when the culture that we belong to, the emphasis is on popping bottles every single night, what is that doing to the liver? Like you said, right, right. the alcohol is dehydrating you. Yeah. The alcohol is dehydrating you. There's no follow-up song saying, look, <laughs> we're going to throw back a gallon of water after we come from the club. Them niggas is drinking Molly water. Like, where's the emphasis on clean water? Yeah. Outside of what we've been able to teach ourselves and learn. A, a little Easter you egg. You feel me? A little Easter egg or just an egg of knowledge about it is... Uh, um, I had a chance to have uh, Brother Tyson Bedford contribute to my my book, The Remedy, and his contribution was the importance of water in his industry. He was saying that they don't talk about it much, but behind the scenes they emphasize the importance of hydrating and drinking water um, because there are situations where uh, a lot of the um, high-paying leveled um, models, male and female, don't really get caked out with the makeup, so their skin has to reflect a certain level of hydration. And some of them won't even get the jobs 
um, because they, when they first come to the jobs, they can't have makeup. They actually look and see the quality of their skin and see if they're dehydrated. They could tell, um, he said they could tell if they um, are eating too much toxic foods, you know, if they have bags in their eyes or even in their urine. So when you talk about this, the models who get six to eight figure, di you know, contracts from these high companies, it's very interesting how a lot of our sisters look who say who are on the um, Instagram, you know, they don't even understand the science that goes into these high level beauty models that they aspire to be. The lifestyle that is not really spoken to the masses, you know, is high is pro is pro water is pro hydration because that, you know, that luster, that that uh, lum a luminosity and glow you that you want to aspire. It comes from within. So even just on a basic three dimensional aesthetic level for those just want shine look great and, and, and have fortifying skin you must invest in the simple daily ritual like i said you have to do large amounts of it for those like myself and in blue that are committed to physical fitness you know we just drink more of it because the body gets rid of it you know so you sweat you sweat the toxins out you want to re restore those electrolytes okay um and again, um, uh, water infusion, uh, we, you know, we want to use the lime, the lemon, uh, coconut, um, another um, infusion you can, you can infuse into your water. Um, if you're dealing with a heavy mucus and you're dealing with coming up, going into a flu or getting out of a flu, um, you can fortify your water with um, some fresh ginger, uh, two ounces of juice ginger. If it's going to be the powder, you can use a half a teaspoon of powdered ginger and two pinches of by your own pinches of cayenne pepper okay you take that three times a day it will it will decrease the level of um, mucus build up in the body in the nasal passage and mucus inside of the colon and you'll be able to you know um go in in in, in uh and release that um, on a daily basis through your skin, do your sweating out the pores and through your urination and do your defecation. You can get rid of the waste. And again, also, you know, we pro, -forti pro, -forti pro fortifying your water with the plant proteins and super mega greens. You're having the chlorophyll um, inside of your body definitely sends the fresh oxygen back to the brain and it energizes the water in you and not only the water that you're drinking, but the water inside your, your own cells. That's right. So, yeah. I got a, a question before we wrap it up. I definitely appreciate this segment, something that we take for granted water on a day-to-day -day basis, basis, but something that is of utmost importance, uh, importance to us. Um, Blue talked about alcohol dehydrating us. Yes. I was watching an interview with Bernard Hopkins, the boxer Bernard Hopkins. Does anybody watch boxing? Yep. Bernard fought, fought until his 40s. They asked him, what enabled you to fight for so long? He talked about water. Mm -hmm. One of the things he said was that soda is like liquid crack. Yeah, so right. he stayed away from soda. There's a lot of people watching this that might drink soda that don't know how harmful soda is because it's been programmed in our minds through commercials. They're like, I drink Pepsi my water. <laughs> and Coke since we were young. So... What's so dangerous about soda for those out there who like, may not be aware? So we have water, to, I drink soda. I drink soda. They told me that before. <laughs> so, so you have to understand what happens with the you know the high fruit high fructose uh, corn syrup. Now, um, fructose is naturally found in the fruit. It's the natural what makes the you know the sugars in the in the fruit sweet. Um, and it's, so, in this natural state, you can find it in in, in your fruits. Um, and sugar in its natural environment can be found in sugar cane and also fruits. What makes it an addictive substance is the process that it goes through. Okay, so when you when you what they do is with the uh, like with the sugar cane, right? They'll take they uh, they'll take the, uh, the the sugar and they'll isolate it, take it up out of its environment, and they'll heat it up. Okay, and that process is kind of like you know the crack cocaine process, right? That you know they're heated up, and that heating up it process, that heating up process of the sugar makes it an addictive substance. Now they they rev up the chemical structure and the and um the chemical structure of the processed sugar that's now been processed and heated up is similar in its in its composition of what composes crack cocaine. Right. Facts. And it has the same effect inside the body. Okay. So now what it's doing, like the crack cocaine, um, the processed white sugar is uh, giving you an energy boost, so you feel like you have like an adrenaline shot, right? But what happens is it comes after you're high, it comes with a depressant. It's really a depressant, okay? 
And why is because it cuts the oxygen flow going and traveling through your cells and to your brain and from your bloodstream to your brain. So the high you think you're feeling when you get the rush is actually your brain shutting off oxygen going from it. And so you keep getting eaten the sweet to get that initial shutting off. So actually what we call high is a really low. So we're getting, it's almost like it's, it's, it's kind of sickening because we're, we're actually causing our body to start and stop, right? And we get excited based upon that, and right? And so what happens now, the more we do the stop, start and stop with the oxygen flowing from our brain and cutting off from our brain, right? This gives you, the, look at look and observe our children in school. In the morning time, they go to the bodega, they, they load up on the sugar. First two periods, they revved up their hype, whatever. After the second, third, fourth period, they're nodding off. Crash. It's because they have no oxygen going to their brain, okay? And so we said, you know, the body is mainly liquid. So any solid that you eat, it has to actually convert it to liquid to fully use it. If you're having soda, it's pure crack, sh liquid sugar crack in its pure sense. So it's, it's liquid. It's going straight there. Candy has to dissolve into the liquid and to convert. The soda goes right there. So it's a full rush. You full the energy. Your, your body has lack of oxygen. You get that start and stop is having you alert, and then you crash, okay? And this this is why our, our young people are, are festering grounds for, type, for stages type 2 adult diabetes right. at 10 and 11 years old. Most of our young people will not, in this, in this type of environment, will not make it to be 20 to 21 because your body would not be able to sustain a decade with type 2 adult diabetes without you being out of off the planet or in obese you know obesity you know brother Q from world star rest in peace that brother you know that he was he was considered morbid obese and mainly was a, a high starch starches convert to the sugar you know most vegetarians or vegans call themselves vegetarians but they're really starchitarians they're vegan vegetarians masquerading as vegetarians but if you look at their carts when when they go to whole foods or these markets of trader joe's most of their shopping carts are filled with starches okay and so they base a lot of their foods on the starches you know and, and lack of not a lot of green, green leafy vegetables and fruits and um and so the starches also, even in a so-called alkaline lifestyle, you still are subjected to the sugar crap principle. You just have a, a more better version of it, okay? You, you know, um, because it can still convert from, you know, the heavy starch diet into the sugars. So I'm not the saying crack, that, you know, uh, the sugar, natural sugar is not good. Do not misconstrue me. I'm saying, but, you know, getting it from its, better, its natural source is much more healthy to the body, right? And, and, and spread out through periods. So having a, a, a daily uh, consumption of water and your diet throughout the day, having your greens, your chlorophyll foods. Now, the, this is why the greens are important. The plant proteins like the chlorophyll um, um, plant proteins is because everything that the sugar crack does to stop oxygen flow to the brain, the greens restore oxygen back. So it's actually the opposite effect of sugar crack. All, 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 all greens, all greens, you know. Now, different, different greens have a higher chlorophyll power impacting them. So if you're dealing with the leafy green community, the, the most highest ones with iron and protein are going to be your kale and your spinach. Okay, um, oregano and uh, um, um, uh, asparagus and, and broccoli. Those those have those have uh, they still have their chlorophyll, but they don't have the. If you're talking about the high impact, I was I would be saluting as far as a salad goes or steaming your kale and your spinach. You are never gonna lose with that. Remember Popeye? I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye got big muscles. Look at the cartoon. He was able to kick Brutus' ass because he had a high dose of spinach. And spinach was the iron that he needed and the plant protein, the chlorophyll plant protein, right? So that's in there. And, and so in the sea, in, 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 in the sea, the, the plant proteins will, will come in the form of the algae, okay? That's right. The corella. The corella has the highest content of the chlorophyll plant protein in the sea second to the corella would be the um, spirulina okay and then on the landmass the prairie grasses you have the alfalfa dandelion and you have the uh the the the, the wheatgrass and and in in the uh um the alfalfa dandelion uh wheatgrass 
And um, I think I'm missing one. Why well, I'm missing one right now? I'm going brain, brain, uh, brain journey. That's why I call it my brain freeze, brain journey. Anyway, you'll get what I'm saying is that, you know, mastering no the green, the greens, <laughs> mastering the greens of the land. Okay, and, and, and also greens of the sea and also our vegetation. Having a diverse amount of the chlorophyll in your, in your diet helps to put oxygen back into your body that is stripped from a high um, diet full of pro extra processed foods, mainly starch based, which converts to sugar, which cuts off the oxygen from the brain. It deteriorates the bones, it weakens the immune system. Brothers, if you want to be able to get it up, your blood has to be strong down there in order to have a, a long lasting erection. So if you have a high diet full of, um, of high processed foods, high sugary foods, also, also dehydrating every night, drinking the alcohol, and, and, and you're not putting that, the, the, the greens in, back in your body to, you know, restore your cells, and the, 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 you know, you're not hydrating with the water to restore, then as you become from your 20s to 30s to 40s, you, you know, your testosterone levels drop, and now your body's degenerating, and you won't be able to sustain the attention of your woman in the bedroom um, and do your manly duties, okay? And so this is very important that we, as men, we, we, we well, a lot of times women invest in their health, and they're more forthrighting with creating circles of wellness, and as our brothers, we have to get you inspired to make Make that wellness investment. You're not a punk. You're not a sissy. If you love yourself and you're making the investment to uh, put that wellness back inside yourself and making right. taking the time to make time, brother, to nourish you. Um, before a woman is even in your life, or she is in your life, you have to treat you with love and respect, so she knows exactly how to treat you with honor, love, and respect. You. Simple: hydrate, drink water. You want to have a hydrating relationship? Hydrate for yourself. Okay. You want to have a real chlorophyllic plant protein, super mega green relationship, do that with yourself, and, and then you'll attract that in your life. There it is. Family. Just to close it out, man, they say there's over 30 trillion cells in the human body, and they say each cell needs water. That's a lot of MF in water, So bro. now why you saying? That's a lot of water you need to feed. How about it? Imagine if we fed every one of them cells. We may be Superman in this. Well, you will. You know why? Down you, here, the reason man. why they say you only lose 10% of your brain? Because you're hot dehydrated. because you're not feeding. It's by design. There we go. When they, these ones, they can't figure out how the pyramids were made, and, yeah. and they keep wanting to make some short midget, uh, rept, gray, gray reptilian build, have built it. It's because they can't fathom that they had the science of alkaline living. They, they would live by yeah. the now, okay, mm -hmm. and they would buy the water, and they were doing the water rituals, and so their capacity to expand yeah, the consciousness yeah. of those trillion cells were being fed, and then the direct connection yeah. from the sun, yeah. right? They were at a capacity of brain capacity that is far beyond what we even operating for right now but we have the ability to do so but we don't have the but most of us are not disciplined Discipline. and want to enroll the the daily rituals we we're so busy saying i can't and but those i you just might as well join the trolls then if you saying i i if the i can't and but if the excuses is in your mental uh, daily affirmation of yourself. You're you might as well join the trolls. You might as you're a yeah. troll. You're a troll. So you're a Trump supporter. Beavis. You have to be a Trump supporter Beavis. because you, you might as well just be you're one. Butthead. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they're trillionaires. Okay. They live near the negative ion environment. They have a trillion cells. All of them are empowered. You are trillionaires. Okay. Mm, love that. But when they tell you that you have ten percent capacity of your brain. Mm. You're really only utilizing three to five. Mm. Ten percent is Einstein, mm. quote unquote. Mm. Okay, and that's the ceiling they put on it. It's really only three to five percent that the regular, quote unquote, normal person has access to or is utilizing. So ninety somewhat, I think it was like ninety-four to ninety-eight percent of the planet is dehydrated. Dehydrated. Well, well, look. So now you see. Now are we surprised at the zombie trolling state that the planet has been. The planet is trolling itself. You know what I'm saying? The planet and, is trolling it. And so we. Well, that's that's how far gone we are from our organic state to the synthetic state. So, brothers and sisters, again, I don't want to spook you out of it, but you have a role to play daily. You you can daily from this conversation enroll yourself into a daily ritual and begin to reconfigure your awesome, reconfigure the that's possibility right. into your wellness. Indeed. With that note, we're going to wrap it up, family. Somebody out there, we got to do an experiment. We hear about the one gallon a day. I want somebody to drink two gallons a day. I, I tried it. To me, I tried it. 
What, what, what did you notice? Please tell the family. Because uh, a lot of, the reason okay. why I asked that, because a lot of people have jobs and you got to keep running to the bathroom. So, yeah. so it's difficult. What, what, what so happened? So once I the- overcame a gallon and I thought, I, I, I said, man, I could do it. I could do it, man. Mm-hmm. I, what I did was, uh, because I was, at that time I was working on a, heavy, a, a lot, so my body still needed the water. And I ran through a gallon so quick. And I, so I did an AM and a PM. So from like, um, I was up like about five in the morning. So let's say from five to about 11, I was on that gallon. And maybe from then I gave myself about two hour break. And maybe from three to about seven, I was on that second gallon. A lot of bathroom breaks, you know. But the way my life was structured at the time, you know, entrepreneur, um, and then it was emphasized around working out. So it didn't even bother me just to go be peeing and go working out, making money while I was working out and peeing. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, I tell you, uh, we you don't want to overdrink, okay? You don't want to overdo it. You know, I, I what it what it did was I felt that I was I had some great bar movements, right? I was peeing a lot. But I knew that I had to now replenish a lot of those electrolytes that I was uh, losing right. because, I mean, that was a lot of water coming in. And so I, I, after I did that for a while, I scaled back and a gallon was accessible. Like a gallon was, was pr- pretty cool. Yeah, gallon is cool. I, I didn't overdo it, you know what I mean? And, I, and I'm not trying to promote that. But though some people, like, you know, they live in the mountains, they live in different altitude, and their body may require a little more than that, you know what I mean? And by all means. But uh, I, I try to just, you know, inspire those uh, with remedies who live in our concrete jungle and who have to navigate through a lot of this stuff. And, um, and for those that are in nature, man, so Salute to you all and and uh, and continue to do what you do. But uh, definitely, um, brothers and sisters, at least start the journey um, of having it. Again, like I said, start in small increments. If you start to get more confident with it, you feel more alert, you feel more good, then keep it up. Like Blue Pill said earlier about infusions, we can get definitely, I salute the infusions. With the super mega greens, with the uh, with the with the sea moss, the Irish moss, you can put the uh, the the lemon, the lime um, infusions. You can put the ginger, the cayenne infusions. You know what I'm saying? And you can also add the aloe vera infusion, as long as, as well as the apple cider vinegar. These are all just extra stacks, as we call it in the in the bodybuilding world. You you can stack with your wellness. Use stacks just to uh, fortify your life daily. And you may fall off. You may have a good seven days, and you just say, you know what, I was on it for seven days and I fell off but brothers and sisters you fall down you can get back up <laughs> we're on the salute peace family peace family www.supermegagreens.com uh, blue pill hit them ocean14corp.com sogobiz.com paranormal.com wellness salute family supernova song paper medicine man I'm here to encourage you and to fortify you and to enroll you and donate into our wonderful channel if you like this information you're fortified by this information you feel encouraged by this really information then please press the donate button hit the donate button if you're trolling you come in the hate then please take your hating ass to the donating section and support <laughs> us, supporting you all. Wellness salute to the family. Don't hate. Donate. Without donate. Okay. Well. Okay. Because <laughs> you're still being provided a platform for your punk ass to be heard. Press the button. Right? Donate. Donate. Activate. <laughs> peace. Peace, family. This is Brother Rich from UGR urging all my viewers and subscribers to help support the channel. By donating just one dollar to the UGR PayPal account, we appreciate the viewership and support, and we understand the power of a dollar. If you benefit in any way, shape, or form, we ask that you donate a dollar, whether it be monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, or yearly, so that we can build our brand to compete with the NBCs, the MTVs, and the Foxes of the world. I figure since Kanye can ask Mark Zuckerberg for one billion. I got to ask my subscribers to donate $1 so I can make the best possible content possible. The main objective of this channel is to inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. So hopefully throughout the years of you watching this program, you have been inspired to become the greatest version of yourself. If you would like to donate, you can go to www.paypal.com and send a donation to richandmerit7 at yahoo.com. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your program. A few red apples falling from the same tree They're all wondering why one skin is green Cause I can't put no coins in your cup Cause I'm still trying to work my way up And never meant to show you no love But this can't be about you, this can't be about you You gotta let me go, gotta let this bird flow Make it fast 
fast, not slow It's the path I chose Feel it in my soul And I'm so thankful Oh, 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 oh You gotta let me go Gotta let the spur flow Make it fast, not slow It's the path I chose Feel it in my soul And I'm so thankful Oh, 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 oh I'm here by the skin of my teeth And you can't keep tugging my sleeve uh. What I make, we can eat This just can't be about you This can't be about you